So I run a half acre vegetable farm in Northern Wyoming. I have 80, 50 foot by two and a half foot beds that grow two to three crops a year. So I have a lot of weeds to deal with and a lot of crops to deal with. So in order to maintain all of that, I have to have systems to make it go really, really fast, really, really efficiently. And those same systems can work in your 220 or 250 square foot garden at home. So the first thing that I like to do is go around the entire garden and pull everything I consider to be a perennial weed. And what that means is it's a weed that has to be pulled out by the tap root with something like a weed hook or a digging fork. And um, especially things like grass, dandelions, um, you know, some of these I don't even know the names of because I've just done it so many times I know that I can't cultivate them. Bind weed and get them with a digging fork and with the tap for with the tap root intact and get them in a bucket and get them out of the garden because every one of these that you pull now will not grow back. And this is how over time your garden becomes weedless and a lot less work. This is brand new soil. I just started growing in it um, in August and it's now May. So it's not even a year old. So there's quite a bit of these perennial weeds. And you're kind of going to have to figure out which ones are perennial in your area. You could do some research with your local extension agency. But if you do this a little bit every week, you're going to be in really good shape in a year. In two years, it's going to be an immaculate garden. So this little bit of effort on your hands and knees once in a while is going to save you a ton of bending over in the future. Now, another tip for keeping your garden weedless is cultivating instead of pulling by hand. So using a tool like this collinear hoe or a stirrup hoe or any of the hoes that are available, there's a million different hoes out there. Uh, and I'm not making a joke <laughs> there. That's just, you know, I have to use that term. Uh, the, there's a million hoes out there and um, any of them will work. You know, the idea is just getting the weeds when they're really, really small. Like this is kind of past due, this is too big, but um, I'm really going for weeds that are about the size of a quarter or, or smaller. And they're much easier to tackle that way. So um, this is much easier than being on your hands and knees all day. Um, this greenhouse is 1,600 square feet. Your garden is probably only 200, 250 square feet, if that. This takes me about a half an hour to cover the entire greenhouse with this technique versus being on my hands and knees. If I was sitting there pulling weeds like this, you know, I'd be in here all day. So it's way faster, way less work to cultivate your weeds instead of pulling them by hand like I just did. All I got to do with this is get underneath them. The weeds will be turned upside down and they will die in the sun. That little root will die in the sun. And you have to know your weeds too. You know, you do this with dandelions, it's not going to work. You have to do it with stuff that will die in the sun really, really quickly. But this saves you a truckload of work. And again, this is really new soil and new ground. So there's a lot more weeds in here than normal. But over time, it just becomes less and less work. Another tip for keeping your garden weedless is planting in perfectly straight rows. You see these two beds of carrots here. I use a special tool to draw a grid on the beds perfectly straight end to end. And it makes it really easy to do that cultivating stuff where I'm just running a hole up and down these beds and all the weeds have been turned over just like this and they will die in the sun. Makes it go really, really fast. Also, if you plant with perfect plant spacing every single time, that's very consistent and in a grid pattern like this cabbage you see here, you're going to have a lot easier time getting that hole up and down the rows and in between the plants and you have access to every square inch of the bed so you can kill all the weeds without bending over. Perfect plant spacing every time is a must for keeping your garden weed free. I have a whole nother video about that that I'll put right here. Another tip is using this black stuff called weed mat all around your garden to stop weeds from growing in between the outside and the inside of your garden. 
and all it does is it stops light from hitting the plants they die over time and water comes through so you don't have big puddles but this is really cheap you can buy it on you just google weed barrier and you'll be able to put it all around the perimeter of your garden so you have a nice barrier from the outside where the seeds weed seeds are coming up and blowing in and it makes it a lot easier because you have a lot less weeds growing right next to all your plants that you want to harvest so the most important of all these tips is doing a little bit of all of the stuff that i mentioned every week doing a little bit of consistent effort every week is a lot better than doing it all at once when you have giant bushes of weeds in july if you just spend 15 10 minutes in your garden doing all of the stuff that I talked about every week. It'll be a lot less painful. Eventually it'll turn into five minutes or two minutes. But um, as you get better at this and consist consistently do it, it's a lot easier to manage. This whole high tunnel or caterpillar tunnel is brand new. It took me an hour and 45 minutes to do all the things I mentioned in 1600 square feet. And that's because the perennials are really bad in here still. There's still a lot of grass that I have to pull every time. I bet you by the end of the year, it'll take me a half an hour to do the whole 1,600 square feet. And so I do this every week on the farm uh, on a half acre of growing space, which is a lot more than 220 square feet. And that's how we keep the, all the crops looking as good as they are and the weeds as little as they are. So hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one.